Wimmer River. It winds its way through the surrounding plains, the center of life for many of the plants and animals in the region, a source of both food and shelter. Along its banks sit the big old river red gums, hundreds of years old. They hang out over the river providing shade and shelter for the other inhabitants as they go about their daily lives. Eating and being eaten. Yeah. That's nature right there. And just look at the water skimmers. Incredible. Another miracle of nature. Diving down below the surface, there's plenty more wildlife action to be found. If we're lucky, we might catch a glimpse of a platypus. And there are certainly bucket loads of fish to be seen. Local fellas, like the blackfish, or the catfish. As well as a few other ringings like the yellow belly and the silver perch. It's a happy, healthy, wholesome community down here. But wait, there's more. Dive down deeper and it's another whole world again. Now this may not look like a picture postcard to you or me, but there's some folk that just love it down here. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Gorgeous. They couldn't live anywhere else. Just another perfect day in paradise. And what lies below that? Well, beneath the river, way down under the ground, sits the water table. And in the water table there, we find... Salt. <laughs> Millions of years ago, this whole place was covered in seawater. But in time, this ancient ocean retreated leaving salt in our soils and water table. When water falls on the land, it soaks down into the earth through all the little cracks and crevices, picking up little particles of salt from the ground as it goes. Eventually, it all ends up down here at the water table. They call it groundwater. Salt can be very harmful to most living things, but when it's kept down here, trapped away underground, it can't do any harm. If it manages to get to the surface, however, the results can be hideous. As more water falls on the surface and soaks down through the earth, the groundwater gets a little salty. And with every drop that goes in, the water table slowly rises. Luckily, on its way, a lot of that water is taken back out of the ground by tree roots which is good for the trees, as they use water to grow. And it's good for us, because it helps keep the water table down. However, as more and more of the trees are removed, more and more of that surface water is able to slip through and make its way down to the water table. And the more and more that happens, the closer and closer to the surface the water table gets until, finally, the water table gets close enough to the surface that the salt can do some damage. Once the salty water reaches the tree roots, the salt soaks up into the trees and kills them. Just like that. And with less trees around, the groundwater isn't kept in its place and it can rise closer to the surface. Some plants actually don't mind a bit of salt like the salt bush. When you see those fellas sprouting up around the place, it's a sure sign that the salt is on its way. And when the salt enters the river itself, the results are disastrous. Oh no! Yeah. Run away! The poor old mussels have got no chance. Salt is no good for them at all. And when it comes, they've got nowhere to go. Stupid! I've been poisoned! They're stuffed! It's not much better for the fish either. We're done for. They can swim around a bit, but at the end of the day, they can't leave the water. So the salt will get them too. And as the river keeps on drying up, the salt is concentrated even more. In some parts of the river here, the water is nearly two times as salty as the sea. Nothing can survive here. No plants. No animals, nothing. No, 
only ones who really stand a chance are those who can get themselves out of here and find somewhere else to live. Luckily, that includes me. Those of us who can fly probably have the best chance of survival. The further upstream you go, the less salt you're likely to find in the water. This spot here looks pretty good. Beaut! Oh, that's better. Clean, fresh water. Much more like it. Look at these happy fish, swimming around without a care in the world. They've got no idea what's happening just downstream. There's a few things we can do to make sure the same thing doesn't happen here. Planting more trees is a great start. We could even get involved with the local water watch crew. The important thing is you do something before the salt becomes a real problem. Who knows what's going on just down there? Even though there's no sign of salinity here right now, it's still down there, just below the surface, biding its time, just waiting for a chance. <laughs>